Hey everyone, my name is Poison Blade and I hope all of you are having a good day. So for today's video, I'm going to be building a habitat for the Golden Lion Tamarind Monkeys. Set in a lighthouse because of course nothing can go wrong when you put monkeys very close to an actual fire. Anyway, to get into today's video, if you're wondering when did the Golden Lion Tamarind Monkeys get added? Because, well, they haven't in a way. They are not part of any DLC, they are a mod made by the Lion Rider. I have nothing to do with the mod except downloading it, so I am going to put a link in the description for you guys to get the mod. Also, I'm going to put a link in the description to Lion Rider's channel because he's amazing and I mean, he also makes amazing mods, so go check him out. And again, I had nothing to do with this mod except hitting download on the Nexus and then because I'm a dumbass, I didn't install it correctly for at least a day and then I found out like, oh, yeah, I'm just dumb and I didn't do the right thing. But Lion Rider also has a video on how to install the mods on his channel. So again, check out the Lion Rider. And yeah, when it comes to the Tamarind Monkeys, because I'm not going to say Golden Lion Tamarind Monkeys every time because it's a mouthful. And again, I'm a dumbass, so I will <laughs> mess that up. But when it comes to the actual habitat build, the reason why I wanted the Golden Line Tamarinds, I just broke what I said beforehand, but uh, hey, when it comes to Poison Blades, don't trust what I say because I will immediately go back on it. But when it comes to the Lion Tamarinds, now I'm just going to make a new name story, that seems. But again, when it comes to this habitat, my intention was because the tamarinds are really brightly orange like i was surprised that they were that orange i thought like in the pictures that i saw on the nexus that was like oh maybe you know the sun hit them just the way that it made them brighter no they are actually bright orange but that made even more sense because i just had the idea because if you're new here i like to create a story with my builds like have some world building aspects to them and when i saw the tamarinds i just thought like i already have tigers as jinn in can i'm sure these tamarinds look amazing to also be jinn but then the more playful kind like they are literally sparks of the fire come alive and then it made even more sense because they were just jumping around the place like superman jumping around the place so it literally just looked like sparks just going everywhere they are also very very energetic crazily so so it just totally made sense when i saw them and then i had the idea to build a lighthouse for quite some time when it came to kanabashar because there's airships here and you don't want them to run into the actual city like destroy buildings in the city when there's like a sandstorm or just a storm or it's dark so there's going to probably be a couple of lighthouses and yes i also just like to build towers so you're just going to see a lot of towers as well i mean when it comes to building towers my idea is just like it's a great way to add more volume or yeah, to add just more height to a building without adding much more volume. So yeah, I'm going back on it again a little bit. It's late in the day. I can't say you're getting sleep deprived poison blades. I mean, sort of. I was up. I didn't sleep last night, did I? Yeah, you maybe are getting sleep deprived poison blades. But anyways, so building towers, it's just fun for me. I like to just imagine climbing them. That's thanks to Assassin's Creed and um, yeah we're just going to see if it works out well that's kind of wrong because of course it works out because otherwise I wouldn't show it to you guys because this is YouTube I am only showing you guys the best things like I mean it's social media in a way so you're only getting like the highlights and all the bad things or the boring things I just don't really show you guys don't compare what you see on the internet to what you're doing because it's usually just showing you the highlights and all the, you know, tedious and uh, bad things they don't show you. Where am I going with this tangent? I don't know. <laughs> uh, recording the last episode of Terra Nova was fun. 
because it was midnight and after that I didn't sleep it. Well, I did sleep but not at night and now... Well, Poison didn't have a sleep schedule in, in the beginning. Why am I talking in the third person? Oh god... I should start talking about the build again. Alright, so uh, when it came to the actual lighthouse... This is actually kind of fun because I had this image on my Pinterest board for so long. I think I had it for half a year. Also, yes, you're seeing Persephone in the background because I'm not building in the actual kernel of a shower file anymore because when it comes to larger buildings, it's just too little frames to survive in the actual kernel of a shower file. But when it came to that Pinterest image, like, it's sat around unused for, I think, half a year by now. Maybe, like, five months or so. And then I finally got to the point of, like, this is where I can use it. I can change it slightly so that it fits with the Ethiopian style that we have now in Kernobshar. Or at least in the Elysian fields. So if I just modify the roof a little bit, modify a little bit of, like, how the structure, like, is built up then it could really easily blend in with the rest of the Ethiopian style. I want to say village, but it is part of the suburb, so it's like part of the larger city area. But it's disconnected from the actual city with the farmlands in between. And yes, I also made a chase, like going south, I would say, from the Ethiopian village. It was supposed to just be desert. I think I'm going to build a small like extension of the town there because otherwise Kernobyshire is just it's not a city it's a town like it, it wasn't large enough at first am I using that as an excuse to build more town buildings or city buildings totally <laughs> am I slightly unnerved by the fact that I'm adding way more pieces than I originally thought because building a desert is easier because it's just a lot of rocks and maybe a small bits of vegetation yes but when have i ever really thought too much about building pieces and like giving myself a limit like i i think this tower or this entire build is actually one of the least heavy when it comes to building pieces and then maybe a little bit more on the rock heavy side like the rocks but that's basically everywhere. That's when you get into like the... Actually, I need to address this. Right now, we are literally on the ground floor or just like where the actual map of Planet Zoo is. Like we are on the ground floor with this build. Which is kind of weird because the entire concept first of Kalamashar was just like everything is going to be floating. And with the Elysian Fields, that was just a complete change going on to ground level, basically, and just building there as well. And it's really fun. It's also, like, I want to say surprisingly easy to build things on the ground level, but yeah, that's when you build a lot of floating islands and you, you and the camera just don't get along and you go through the island and then are stuck underneath the island and need to wiggle the camera back up the island. So yeah, it was surprisingly relieving, I would say, or relaxing to not have to worry about where is the camera going to get stuck. But anyway, then when it comes to the actual building again, yeah, there's no structure to today's video. Again, sort of sleep deprived poison is, I mean, it's chaotic to watch but also somewhat fun because I will look back at this video and be like what the hell did I talk about because my memory doesn't retain anything of when I'm sleep deprived uh, I did sleep it's just that the sleep schedule is just all over the place so I just slept at a weird moment but anyway uh, going back into the building of course it's a lighthouse but there has to be someone like keeping check on the lighthouse. There's to be a keeper of some sort. Maybe also someone who tries to keep the a djinn in monkey form in, you know, keep those in check as well. So there's of course need to be like a building attached to the lighthouse 
where the keeper of the lighthouse can stay or of course they could stay in the other buildings because this lighthouse is actually very close to like everything else you will see that in the end result with the nice pretty cinematic views again the, this video is just going to be total chaos i can feel that it was actually fun because like here i got to actually try and morph that ethiopian style into the more broader kian al-bashar style so uh, you have this lighthouse that is definitely ethiopian style and then you have the building that is basically the house of the keeper of the lighthouse that has still some things making it fit in with the ethiopian style but also blending in more of the general Ken Albashar style which is tricky because Ken Albashar so far has so many different styles whenever somebody asks like what's your inspiration for Ken Albashar I can literally just point at the entire Mediterranean and Middle East <laughs> like it's just everywhere there like I go from Roman Greek to Spanish to Iran and Iraq to well now also in the south Ethiopia I knocked into my desk, I hope you don't hear that, but not really out of the... Again, today's video is just chaos. But anyway, when it came to this building, as I said, I was really happy to be able to sort of try and blend those styles. Because that's usually the hard thing when you have like a lot of different styles going on in whatever you're building, to make it blend well. Because... When it comes to realistic or real zoos, you will usually have like the Asian area or like the African area when it comes to animals. And sometimes it will literally just be a wall between different areas and there's no blending whatsoever. But when it comes to Canal the Shard or my projects, because there's a lot of world building and a lot of storytelling involved, I need it to feel kind of real and when you look at real life cultures there is an area where they sort of blend where the well basically two different cultures start to somewhat blend together before going completely separate in a way again and so that was fun for me to build it is kind of a headache in a way because you know you gotta get that perfect middle ground otherwise it will just lean too much into one culture or the other so when it came to this building it was really fun for me to try and get that Kran al style but with a slightly heavier lean towards the Ethiopian style that's included so that that blending is going there also when it came to the actual building or the not the building the climbing part this was hell on earth. I am not good at building climbing things for my monkeys. But here it was just like, I had this idea of like, oh yeah, they are going to climb the house of the keeper of the lighthouse. That sounds weird, but it somewhat works. It's somewhat, okay, let's move on before chaotic poison blade comes back. But I wanted to have it that the tamarins climbed the house first then climbed on the wood being raised up to the lighthouse because of course like here is the thing i don't want a very heavy magic focus in well this fantasy world of mine i don't want everything to be easily explained by magic so when it came to this lighthouse i didn't want it to be like a basically how do you say it? like a basically a fire that never goes out because of magical reasons i wanted it to be like oh yeah they need to constantly get new woods up there so there is going to be a because of that i had like a platform on which i could make something that the tamarins could climb and then everything worked it just was like the starting point at the ground level where the tamarins couldn't get on and I had to wiggle with that constantly. And then I figured out that, oh, it's the Arctic wood that I used for the, like the, again, I forget the names. This is what happens when I'm sleep deprived. I forget all of the names that I needed to use. 
the, the the little hanging in front of the door like there's just something with the arctic pieces and climbing things that they just don't really work that well together but i changed it up for the basically the piece that i use for a roost lately a lot that was probably not the most correct grammatical sentence but we will go with it but yeah let's just say arctic wooden wall pieces not that easy to use when climbing or when you're building climbing things but all of the other pieces usually work well and so i learned it this the hard way i had to chase a lot of like the arctic wood pieces for the pieces that i used to build the roof which i think is like an african fence i never i think used it as a fence this this is the same as with the indian door which in my opinion is it a door it looks like a window i've always used it as a window i am probably incorrect and it's probably in india actually used as a door but in planet zoo it just for me looks too much like a window to be not be used as a window and now for building the actual habitat because the building part is done or the like lighthouse is done and then i wanted to have this tiered habitat where it could get very close to the guests i this is one question that I will always ask myself. Why am I still building Kiana Obisha for guests? Like, I'm already complaining about the frame rate. Guests are just not going to be a possibility in Kiana Obisha. But I'm still building Kiana Obisha as if you could see it as a zoo. I don't know why. I'm literally just asking myself that question constantly. Why am I using pods? There's not going to be any guests here. I don't know. I think it's just some kind of remainder of, I don't know, this being a zoo game. So I want to make it into something that could still be seen as a zoo, even though it's far past the point of that. Also, the monkeys, when they are using this staircase, the, it's it's funny because they just, you, they don't look completely right. <laughs> This is with every monkey though. This is not because of like the tamarins being a mod or anything. It's just with, I think actually any animal. If they use a staircase, it's literally just butt in the air. Like they just look like they're standing on their front legs and nothing else. So it's funny to watch them walk up and down this staircase. Or do this Superman or Super... Yeah, I've completely lost it with today's episode. But otherwise they Superman jump and that's also fun to see because it's just like this tiny little floof ball or this, well basically this tiny little orange floof ball, bright orange floof ball. You can see one standing there and then it's just like, oh nice nature. And then you see this floof ball of energy and chaos just jump over your screen. And I like the tamarins. I mean, I downloaded them so again here i want to immediately again say i had nothing to do with making the tamarins that credit code is all to line rider i just downloaded them i hit download and then i was a dumbass and didn't download it correctly for a whole day because i am kind of nervous when it comes to mods i've never modded any or had that wasn't the correct sentence. I have never used mods in any game because I'm always scared of breaking my game. But again, thanks to Lion Rider having like an amazing video on how to download mods and how to install it correctly, even this dumbass could do it. So again, all credit for the Tamarins goes to the Lion Rider. Please check him out. Check his channel out. Check his mods out because he does make amazing mods. And yes, the tamarins are that brightly orange. And I love them for it. It just makes them even more like, well, words, come out, please. It just makes it so that the tamarins work even better with the story that I had going. But again, I will put Line Rider's YouTube channel in the description. I will put the link to the mod in the description because yes especially now that the mods like for some time the mods were only able to replace animals now they are able to bring in new animals and like 
this was the main hurdle for me like i didn't want to replace any animals because i also love the original animals so now that the mothers are able to add in new animals that was just the moment where i was just like yes now i want mods i'm going to be a dumbass and not install them correctly but i'm going to have mods so yeah next habitat that i'm going to build is probably squirrel monkeys which i originally thought were my favorite monkeys but then i realized that i made a mistake and uh, my favorite monkeys are not actually the squirrel monkeys and then i thought that i had to correct one with the spider monkeys but now i'm not sure about that even my whole life has been a lie i don't know what my favorite monkey is anymore because i first thought it was a squirrel monkey then i thought when i saw the wikipedia page oh no it's a spider monkey and now i'm thinking of like is it like a skull monkey or something i don't know how it's named yeah but that's probably going to be the next habitat and yes i'm in this weird funk of building habitats it's a new thing and i am scared but anyway that's going to be it for today's video i hope you enjoyed this chaotic mess i'm keeping all of this in the video because it's funny as hell for me but again, hope you enjoyed the video. There is the like and subscribe button if you want to see more. And there's a notification bell that hopefully you are clicking. But then I don't blame you if you're not. Because I think it will work when I start installing bots correctly the first time I do. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye bye.